good morning students today we are going to learn about thrust and pressure can you tell me how a camel can run in a desert easily why a motor bus has much wider tires Why cutting tools have sharp edges? Here, in this lesson, we will learn some new concepts in physics which answer all these questions. They are thrust and pressure. What is thrust? The net force acting in a particular direction is called as the thrust the force per unit area is called as the pressure let us try to understand this in detail if you want to fix some of your drawings poems or stories on our school notice board what will you do to do this task you will be pressing the drawing pin with your thumb right you apply a force on the head of the pin the force is acting perpendicular on the board this force which is acting on a particular direction is called the thrust The SI unit of thrust is Newton. It is denoted as capital N. Now we are going to see an another example. If we stand on loose sand, we feel that our legs are going into the sand. Now lie on the sand. What we feel? We feel that our body is not going that deep into the sand in both the cases the force exerted is the weight of our body when you stand the force that is the weight of our body is exerted on the area which is equal to the area of your feet when you lie down the force that is the weight of your body is exerted on the whole contact area of your body thus the forces of the same magnitude are different for different areas in both the cases the thrust is the same though the thrust is the same the effect of thrust depends on the area of contact so the thrust acting on unit area is called pressure here the formula for the pressure that is pressure is equal to thrust by area of contact the si unit of pressure is newton per square meter it is denoted as n m square